Strange Planet, breaking news, they just dropped the teaser trailer for Star Wars Episode Eight: The Last Jedi. And I saw it, and I was like, oh snap, look at this. Okay, let's break it down real quick. For those of you who haven't seen it yet, I would ask you just stop playing it right now. Go see it, and then come back to me, because this is good. This is gonna be really good. Okay, here we go. First, you see the island, you know, where we last saw Rey, at the end of episode seven, the Force Awakens come in. So, you know, a couple of shots really made some things clear to me that this movie definitely takes place pretty much right after the events of The Force Awakens. You see Rey still looking the way she did, dressed the way she did, her hair the way she, it was. So there's still some, something still very recent going on here, okay? So you got Rey, and you can tell in the distance, there's a shot of a mountainside of the island where you see a figure with a blue lightsaber swinging it around and another figure watching from a distance. You could tell that Rey has begun her training under the tutelage of Master Skywalker. That's right. So first of all, that's awesome. Now, the thing that I love to see, the shots that were amazing was first of all, the Millennium Falcon flying, doing its thing. I presume it's Chewbacca flying it. Or it could be Ray because she knows how to fly the thing. Um, and, you know, obviously the war is getting really bad between the Resistance and the First Order. So now things are getting really heated. We see Ray running through a field, lightsaber in hand, lit. She's charging at something or someone. Um, don't know yet what that is. And then we see Kylo Ren holding his lightsaber, pointing it. And you could see the scar that Ray gave him from the last film. And you could see the hate in his eyes. It's like, you know, something is crazy. Now, there's also something else. A few key words that I heard in this trailer. Balance, breathe, last Jedi. Well, not necessarily last Jedi. Let me backtrack. The Jedi ends will end so that's what Luke and it appears that's Luke's voice saying that that the only truth I know is this that the Jedi it's time for the Jedi to end I, I can't remember exactly the words but I know it's something that has to do with the end of the Jedi no more Jedi which is crazy because people love the Jedi how can you know, and, and I was talking to a colleague of mine who said, you know, that would be a big mistake on Disney's part or Lucasfilm's part to end the Jedi because that's what all of us old school Star Wars fans grew up on, the Jedi, the Jedi. So what's up with that? So, you know, and that I think, in my opinion, ties into the word we heard earlier, balance. Okay, I think all of this is slowly connecting to the prophecy of the chosen one that was first mentioned in the prequels about how the chosen one would come to restore balance to the force we just don't know how that would happen so based on what i saw in that in today's trailer that just got released and based on all of that i'm getting the sense ready for this guys i'm getting the serious sense that the balance that has to be put right wasn't done when Vader killed Palpatine in Return of the Jedi when he threw him down the shaft to the Death Star and we thought a lot of people thought well that's it that's how Vader was the chosen one and now he's setting the force back into balance by destroying the Sith forever but maybe that's not how it's supposed to be maybe it's not just the Sith that had to be ended maybe it's the Sith and the Jedi and now is the time for the Jedi to end. I know that's a hard thing to swallow right now, guys. But let's be real, okay? In order for that to happen, something else must take its place. Something must rise from that. That's different. In the Star Wars universe, there are other Force users that are not Sith or Jedi. There's been other ones, okay? So what could this be heading to? What could this be going to? I don't know, but you know what? I'm excited 
Um, I'm excited about this trailer. I'm sure they'll make another one or at least a couple more before the movie. And what I like about this trailer is that it didn't reveal too much. Just like for the when the trailers for The Force Awakens happened. It didn't reveal too much. It just had you going. Had you thinking. Had you wondering what's going on. What's going to happen. What's this. Right? So let's hope to God that that's what we see here for this trailer. I'm very excited about it. If you have any comments, uh, let me know about it down below. And, um, uh, you know, this has been a Strange Planet breaking news bulletin. And uh, we'll see you soon in the Strange Planet world where pop culture is its own world. Peace.